Today, we are talking about the Montreal screw job. What happened to the both competitors? What happened to the aftermath? And did this reignite the new WWF that went into the Attitude Era? Bret Hart and Vince McMahon are talking about the new contract with Bret Hart even asking for a lower raise or a lower salary just for him to stay with McMahon for 20 more years as an asset to the company with Vince McMahon denying this telling Bret Hart that he should go to WCW while this is happening he is their champion the WWF champion so Vince McMahon and Bret Hart are trying to have a deal with both of them failing to have the deal with days coming to Survivor Series some people started to have trust issues with Vince McMahon because he is associated with the clique Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Scott Hall, and Razor Ramon even though the other two is in WCW Shawn Michaels and Triple H are known backstage during that time according to some sources to some shoots to some wrestlers that they are power hungry which was shown during the 90s with HBK and 2000s with Triple H this topic was discussed in different platforms with different shoots with different wrestlers having their own side from HBK to Bret Hart to Vince McMahon and some people are talking about Bret Hart embracing the character so well that he feels that he is the character he is playing in WWE well Shawn Michaels is an egomaniac in 1997 which he is pl politicking that time by having a lot of things done in his favor with also the click having that before leaving the WWF with, with Kevin Nash and Scott Hall doing that beforehand the other problem was the two's rivalry real life rivalry because of those shoots that the two can't seem to work their personal issues with with the sunny incident by Shawn Michaels stating that Bret Hart has an alleged affair and etc Shawn Michaels that time is so different from the 2000s Shawn Michaels that we all love we all know that we all care that we all love with some people embracing the new Shawn Michaels in 2000s that the Shawn Michaels put over talent unlike his 1990s self this rivalry this personal rivalry fueled a fire in this match because of the refusal to put over someone and this happens with Shawn Michaels stating that he could not put Bret Hart over in one of the interviews in the internet or in some shoots because of this attitude between the two, the sparkles, this match that they could not do their own business. That Bret Hart wanted to surrender the title next day after the Survivor Series 1997 and just leave the ti a title into the ring, surrendering because they want to believe that the match should end in disqualification in favor of Bret Hart because of the assaults by the Generation X and the Heart Foundation during the time and then the match happened a lot of people stating to Brett that he should be aware of his surroundings he should be aware of the people even the referee that he the referee that time Earl Hebner even swore to his family that he ensured that he is a justful referee and he's not a crook referee but things happened the wrong way didn't it and so there's a good thing about this the birth of the mr mcmahon's character this heel this heel character 
where you wanted to kick his behind because of his favoring the heel the bad guy of the story and screwing the baby faces or the good guys you love such as stone cold with that great rivalry the undertaker Shawn michaels triple h in that matter this character evolved into a better showing in tv that people started to watch monday night raw over wcw with them having this character fight steve austin who people cheers in every arena that he went every arena that stone cold goes the crowd popped i mean the strong ovation in every arena that he went to stone cold is the ultimate baby face that vince mcmahon created because vince mcmahon as we know it is an evil genius vince mcmahon with his skill character evolving from the corporation one into this corporate ministry into this authority with a lot of groups that vince mcmahon joined and also being this good baby face with him joining the union and fighting cm punk in 2012 and also fighting with hunter in 1999 Shawn michaels done a great done a great things done good things in wwf that turned into wwe when he returned after that four years injury because of that match with the undertaker at 1998 royal rumble at the casket match for the wwf title with Shawn michaels putting austin over because of the threat of the undertaker because remember Shawn michaels has sent backstage attitude during 1990s that he refused to put over some people in the company at wrestlemania 14 hbk put austin over with that Shawn michaels retired for four years and then austin was over with the fans and austin is the biggest babyface fighting this new hill vince mcmahon that screwed Bret Hart in 1997 Survivor Series. So what is my take in the story? Well, here it goes. First of all, these are my opinions about the Montreal screw job. If this didn't happen, first of all, I'm not sure if WWE would have existed after the Montreal screw job. I mean. I don't know if it will survive in 2000s maybe wcw is the company that's running or maybe ecw is the one that's running or maybe aew is the one and the sole company that we know today in wrestling industry aew versus dna maybe so because remember vince mcmahon as a heel true money i mean real money with the baby face fighting him and the baby face destroying him doing things not on his favor by doing things not on his favor and destroying him on live television people wanted to see that people wanted to see this character being destroyed by those baby faces they just want him to suffer because of this heelish character that he made every arena he got booed and then he made this theme song this new theme song in 1999's royal rumble no chance in hell to austin which is biggest rival because if the montreal screwjob didn't happen austin versus mcmahon would not have the same impact even if they made that I don't think that the WWE would exist because they don't have enough heat for Vince McMahon or any wrestlers during that time. We can say 
How about Shawn Michaels? How about Triple H? How about the others? Why? Will we give them a chance to be in a heel? Just like Vince McMahon in that time. I'm not sure if anyone would have surpassed Vince McMahon's level of being a bad guy during that time. Even the guys like Ric, Ric Flair, the guys like The Undertaker, who put Austin on the cross, and etc. They wouldn't have level in Vince McMahon. I mean, Ric Flair can level Vince McMahon in terms of healness, but the other generic heels today, I don't think so. If Vince McMahon didn't turn heel in this time, I'm not sure if WWE will have existed just like when I told you that is this is just my opinion second of all if Vince McMahon didn't turn and have this program turn on his favor just like most of the personal programs that he made into a storyline just like Edge, Lita and Matt Hardy and etc if Vince McMahon didn't capitalize on this the company will not survive if it survive I think probably it is not PG rated or it is not the same as it is today and without this Montreal screw job that happened before I don't think wrestling would have the same impact in the sense of controversy because remember according to Eric's Bishop book Eric Bischoff's book, Controversy Makes Cash. Vince McMahon creates cash because of that screwing in 1997's Survivor Series. That is all of my opinion. I apologize if we don't agree on that one or if you agree. Please like this video, share this video, comment down below, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to watch other of my videos which will be saw which will be seen in the end screen in the cards also subscribe to my second channel and many more thank you for watching and this is my short opinion about the montreal screw job and have a good day